Apex Investor, this is the update for Monday, Monday, October the 11th. Uh, we covered in the previous video all the stock related news. Uh, I should say stocks in terms of numbers. Now, this video is all about metamaterials. That's our focus for this video. So, beginning with the first post here on the metamaterial subreddit. Remember, George already turned down $500 million. That was the offer he received for the assets, uh, Torchlight assets, the week of the merger. Uh, he, so he turned it down. The investment bank offered him $500 million. He knows its worth is a lot more than just $500 million. Okay. What about the land? Uh, it was about something else. It was talking about Torchlight. So we're going to move on to the next book. Okay, so about how how much the land could be worth. Uh, Shell paid forty thousand per acre in the past. Uh, Meta Materials IR guy Kevin is a West Texas oil industry guy. Very good. Um, Torchlight led him to Meta Materials, and this poster is saying twenty five thousand per acre easy, which means fourteen dollars is what the dividend could most likely be based on his estimates. Uh, so that is a really good, I think that just simplifies it. That, that's what this channel is all about, simplifying the stock market. And uh, so it's looking like $10 could be the minimum according to that post, as much as 14, maybe even more up to 20. Uh, could be more than 20, but we'll, time will tell where that price will end up for the dividend. Next post is a very interesting one. It is a uh, response from Meta to Alpha, Alpha Status Stock MMTLP questions. I'm going to open that in a new window, a new tab. Uh, hopefully, people will finally take this as a confirmation. Okay. So, uh, I want to take a better look at this image and read it out for you. Okay. In the definitive proxy filed in May 2021, the arrangement agreement between Torchlight and Meta provided that the combined company will use commercially reasonable efforts to sell the oil and gas assets prior to the asset sale expiration date of December 28th, so it's actually the 28th, not the 31st. Torchlight stockholders of record as of the Series A preferred record date received a dividend on a one for one basis of shares of Series A preferred stock. The Series A preferred stock was and is not expected to be listed on a securities exchange and will be administered by AST, the company's transfer agent. Holders of shares of Series A preferred stock may receive asset sale dividends from any asset sale transactions consummated prior to the asset sale expiration date. So. December 28th is the actual date you have to acquire these dividends and may also receive a spin-off dividend of any remaining assets that may not have been sold in an asset sale transaction prior to the asset sale expiration date. The OTC market is not a securities exchange. It is only a trading market where brokers match buyers with sellers and is not as heavily regulated as an exchange and so Investors should be aware of the risks of trading in such a market. Again, it is risky. Meta did not request, nor has it been involved in, and did not initiate the trading of Series A shares on the OTC market. So that's not them. As far as Meta is aware, this, this request was made by one or more brokers motivated by the desire to make a market in such shares where a broker had to report uh, a trade of the Series A shares under the FINRA rules. This is pretty big. Uh, number one, is the MMTLP stock in lieu of the dividend? Answer, no, the two are unrelated. The trading on the OTC has nothing to do with any dividend that may be declared or paid to Series A preferred sh stockholders of the company. Whoever owns Series A shares at the record date for the dividend, if and when it is declared, will be entitled to receive it. How can this trading occur? It's one of my questions. 
Series A shares can be transferred so long as such transfer complies with securities laws and other restrictions that may be applicable to you as a holder of Series A shares. The company has not imposed additional restrictions on the transfer of these shares, but you should consult your own legal advisor or broker to ensure any transfer of your shares is made in compliance with any legal, contractual, or other obligations applicable to you. Number three, how is the price for Series A shares established? OTC market makers establish the price. Meta is not involved in any way uh, and in no way influences the price. How are Series A shares delivered to new buyers? Your broker will coordinate uh, with Meta's transfer agent, AST US or DTCC for shares held in street name to deliver these shares to the buyer. What happens to my dividend if I sell the Series A shares? The right to receive a Series A dividend in the future is attached to the Series A shares. If you do not hold Series A shares when a record date for a dividend is declared, you will not receive the dividend. At the moment, no such record date has been set or dividend declared by Meta. Will this trading continue after the dividend is finalized and paid? When dividends are fully paid upon the sale of the legacy assets, this is really big. <laughs> when the dividends are fully paid upon the sale of the legacy assets, the torchlight assets, if the relevant assets are spun out of meta to the Series A holders, whether by dividend of assets or spin out of a new company like Oil Co. or otherwise, the Series A shares will be canceled. Such shares will thereafter cease to exist, no longer be outstanding, and trading will cease. When will the dividend be paid? As previously stated in its proxy filing, the company currently expects to sell or spin off the oil and gas assets by December 28th, 2021, that's the deadline. Such date may be later if agreed upon by Meta and the Series A preferred representative. As of the date hereof, no such dividend has been declared and no record date for such dividend has been set. So that is a very, very big post. It seems these uh, MMTLP uh, preferred share stock are legit. It seems that this is confirmation they are legit. They are now legit, according to what I've read there. I don't have any doubt in my mind they're legit now. So the date we're looking for is December 28th, 2021. That's the date we're looking forward to. Okay, now look at these posts and vet them. Okay, this is in that what I just read to you uh, was from official Meta Materials uh, member, Mark, uh, the investor relations representative there. Um, just gonna look at this. Yeah, so this is official. The MMTLP is legit. Uh, so buy away if you want or sell or whatever you wanna do. So is MMTLP not the same? Um, okay, here's, let me make this the thumbnail. Uh, new shareholders of MMTLP are eligible to receive the dividend payout. They must hold prior to the upcoming record date against December 28th of this year. Uh, it says here, you won't be eligible uh, if you sell MMTLP before the upcoming date, again, December 28th. The dividend is estimated to range from $1 to $20 as assets are sold off and the price of oil is only going up. So this will be the thumbnail, MMTLP, definitely. Uh, so I'm gonna look into getting some of this. I already have some because I bought shares before the deadline, but now you can kind of circumvent that, uh, having to buy the shares before the deadline, before the merger. And now you can kind of cheat your way into <laughs> the dividend in a way, but it's okay. You know, I think we all need to do our part and retail investors have to be the ones to be the holders 
uh, the owners of this uh, MMTLP shares so that the shorts are left in the dust and then they'll have they'll be forced to cover and it's going to be a glorious day uh, come January 1st, 2022. Okay, so what Mark Kamanowski had written. Uh, so let's get let's go through this. It's a really good. Uh, whoever owns Series A shares at the record of date for the dividend will be entitled to receive it. So if you hold your shares of Meta, uh, Torchlight, M MMTLP, uh, MMATA, or any other stock through a broker, your shares are held in street name. You do not you do not actually own the shares. The broker owns the shares and credits you for those shares. If you have not directly registered shares to your name. Uh, through a direct register system, you do not own the shares. Your broker owns the shares of Torchlight Series A preferred stock. Your broker is entitled to the dividend, and your broker will credit you with the dividend when it is paid out. That's a good point. Uh, as far as Meta is aware, this request to initiate trading of Series A shares was made by one or more brokers motivated by the desire to make a market in such shares, or a broker who had to report a trade of the Series A shares under the FINRA rules. What this means, what this means is that the brokers who own, who own the shares on your behalf have decided to allow the trading of these Series A preferred stock over the OTC. They can legally do this because they legally own the shares on your behalf. As long as the brokers track who sells, what to whom, kind of like uh, blockchain, <laughs> uh, so that it can all be sorted out when the dividend actually pays out, it is all legal. What this means is that if you sell your shares of MMTLP, you are allowing your broker to no longer credit you for the shares of Torchlight Series A preferred stock that the broker currently owns on your behalf. If you buy more shares of MMTLP, so if I go out tomorrow and I buy a thousand shares of MMTLP tomorrow at around two dollars, your broker is allowing you to be credited for more shares of Torchlight Series A preferred stock that it owns on your behalf. Whether or not you will be screwed over depends on how legitimate and trustworthy your broker is. Uh, if you're on a big trusted broker like Fidelity, you will probably be fine whether you sell, hold, or buy. If you're on a bad broker like Stash, <laughs> they may decide to sell your shares at any time. This actually makes me feel much better about the whole situation. Me too. Nothing legal is happening. The brokers who own the shares of Torchlight Series A preferred stock on our behalf have decided to allow trading of the shares over the OTC. They've probably done this to allow short hedge funds to buy shares of the Torchlight Series A preferred stock in order to cover their short obligations. Here's the kicker though. Oh, here we go, kicker. The short hedge funds can only buy these shares if retail traders sell them. I'm not selling mine, I haven't sold them once. If retail doesn't sell for low prices, hedge funds will have to pay more for the shares. If retail buys more shares, that will increase demand and drive the price up even more. So here we go, squeeze, squeeze is gonna happen here for both Meta and the MMTLP. Edit for more clarification. Mark states, what happens to my dividend if I sell? Uh, the right to Series A in the future is attached to the Series A shares. If you do not hold them, you will not receive the dividend. Again, if you do not own the shares of Series A, your broker, I should, I should say, uh, you do not own them, your broker owns them, and they credit you for them. That same broker has decided to represent your Series A stock as MMTLP, has decided to sell to allow you to trade it via the OTC. If you decide to sell your shares, your broker will no longer credit you for the shares. If you decide to buy more, your broker will credit you for the additional shares. So essentially, what this is saying, what this means is the MMTLP is like a limited asset. It is a commodity. Think of it like Bitcoin. You only have X amount of Bitcoin out there. Once those are all acquired, uh, the price will only go up. But if there's you know inflation and you can keep creating uh, 
stock or currency with uh, impunity, the price will go down. But since there is only a limited amount, MMTLP uh, being more limited in quantities, if we buy them all up, the retail investors, the price will go up for the short hedge funds. I imagine this is why all the brokers are taking different stances uh, as, as to what they allow. Stash sold people's shares. Uh, Stash sold people's shares of MMTLP right away. Ouch. That's a low down dirty move. Robinhood is allowed selling but not buying, though now they allow no trading whatsoever. Um, why do you trust Robinhood still? They <laughs> should be banned, should be canceled. Fidelity has allowed selling and buying. Some brokers have made it entirely untradeable. Because it is OTC, it's entirely up to your broker if they want to allow you to trade it. So I should ask permission uh, or ask, do I have permission to trade this on the OTC? And then when I get confirmation, that's when I will go ahead and buy some. Uh, MMTLP works just like normal, like a normal traded security. If you hold MMTLP to the end, I'll just call it preferred shares, you will get the dividend payout. If you sell it uh, somewhere along the way, you will get the price you sold it for and nothing else. So you sell it at $2, you end up with $2. If you buy more, you will get more dividend payout. There's nothing illegal happening. This is not a scam, I repeat. Not a scam, this is real, it's legit. So that's really good. Uh, so that's all for this video. Uh, yesterday was a bit of confusion. I was on the fence. Now I'm not on the fence. I'm definitely on board for MMTLP. Uh, initially posted a video saying this was only 79 cents, 80 cents. That was the time to buy it. That seems to be support at around a dollar. I don't know if it's ever going back down to a dollar, but uh, if you can get this below $5, you're doing yourself a favor because the estimates are this uh, dividend will be at the very least a dollar, but uh, I'm going to say realistically $5 to as much as 20. Some are saying 14 is uh, the solid price as we saw today. And one of the posts that 14 is pretty much, uh, I don't know, a done deal, but this could go even higher depending on uh, will retail investors hold the most? Will they have the most? Uh, will, will they have the largest share of this uh, MMTLP pie? And will the hedgies have a smaller piece and will have to be forced to cover and forced to buy back at a much higher price than they anticipated, whether that's uh, $10, $20, 40 50 100 We don't know. But time will tell, and we'll see possibly a big bloodbath in, come January, January 1st, 2022, and, and uh, moving forward from there beyond that. Huge day, very big news regards to Twinkie, regards to Hylian, regards to Meta Materials was no disappointment. I'm so happy right now. Um, <laughs> This is great. Uh, this channel is going places too. We got a lot of viewers, a lot of subscribers. Just thank you very much uh, for your support. I, I, this channel is just to help you out. So I hope that this that what I'm doing here is simplifying things. Uh, I'm basically reading a bunch of Reddit posts. Maybe some people don't have access to their Reddit and we are on a device such as a Nintendo Switch and you don't have a browser. So this channel comes in very handy that way. And I definitely be, would be watching this channel if I didn't have a web browser on my device, such as a Nintendo Switch or, or what have you. So thank you again. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time, we'll catch up with you later uh, after the market closes. God bless you all, and God bless your investments. Metamaterials all the way, baby. Let's go. MMTLP.